Well, I'm going to have to set this one aside. I sold a copy of this next clay that I'm going to finish up on. It's one that I pretty well have finished, but I've got to put this one aside so that I can make sure everything is tight and perfect on the one that was sold. Time to play with some clay. All right, this is the clay I'm going to be working on just to clean up, make sure everything's tight. I got to reattach the head of the dog on the shoulders. I got to work on that head a little bit. Um, but basically, this piece is done. I just have some filling in to do, uh, making sure that everything is ready for the felt mold maker. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with this piece. I'm telling you, this is been a dream piece right here and I'm so glad that I'm finally going to be able to get this one cast in bronze. The last time I worked on this was two years ago. That's how long it's been sitting in all my shelf collecting dust. It's about uh, a little after four in the morning I came down to get this moved so that I can get the heat going in my studio and so by the time I come down here Everything's ready for me to work on it. Um, yesterday, I didn't get it down here to work at all because I was doing a lot of stuff. I had to go to Virginia City, which is about 14 miles over the mountain to get my license plate renewed. And uh, then I had a contact from a gallery in Santa Fe that shows a lot of interest in showing my work. And so I spent time yesterday sending photographs of finished clays that uh, are ready to be cast and giving information about bronzes that are already cast. Uh, and uh, so I spent the whole day till late in the evening getting all that stuff done. All right, everybody. Uh, I'll be back down here later this morning and uh, continue working on this. Like I said, there isn't much to do, but I do want to get a few things cleaned up a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys in about five or six hours. <laughs> okay, I got my dog maquette. Now, it's not the breed that I'm doing, but uh, it does help me with parts of it. This nose is taking damage because every time my head fell off, it would land on its nose. And so I've got to re-sculpt the nose a little bit. Now, the breed of dog that I'm doing is a, an American Dingo. The American Dingo was the first canine breed of dog in North America, and it goes back thousands of years. And it would be more than likely what it would be in a village of uh, Native Americans. The uh, warrior I'm doing is a Crow Indian. 
And uh, the uh, area of Billings, Montana, has a lot of high bluffs. And this warrior was standing watch over the village during the night and uh, with his uh, with a friend that sort of made friends with him whether he liked it or not so the dog was there with him and uh, in the morning the dog is alerted to some danger and that's why uh, the warrior is suddenly coming to uh, attention because the dog has sensed something wrong. Alright, I took a little break. I had a, a friend come by and I had my light start falling apart right above the dog. I'm sitting here working on the dog dog's head and all of a sudden I start seeing the light coming down close, lower and lower and I look up and the thing that holds the uh, light or that attached to the, to the piece of wood that holds it was coming off the wood. And so I had to redo that. So I've been off the dog for about an hour now and just got back onto it. I'm working on the detail of the nose. If you look at the maquette, now this is a, a Great Dane, but the dog's nose is pretty much the same. And uh, so I, I'm doing that. Let me take a look. I got a, a wolf. Let's see, a, okay, hold on a second. Now the wolf's nose is different. You can look over there. This has got a kind of a wrap around the bottom of the nose. This the wolf doesn't necessarily have that. That's a wolf uh, maquette that I got off from uh, anatomytools.com, and I got this one off. Oh, 3dtotal.com, and uh, it's really handy to see the anatomy 3D rather than uh, just drawings, if you can even find them. So before I attach the uh, dog's head back onto the dog's body, I want to get this part done because this would be hard to do once it's back on the body and I got to work between the warrior, the dog, and uh, it's much, e much easier to work on it uh, away from the the dog okay I'm gonna call it a day after I get this muscle in the uh, above the eyes blended in I want to get some pictures of uh, a dingo's American dingo's head um, while well, I got the head off I want to make sure I've got the details that uh, tell it it's a dingo in the uh, dog's face. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. And uh, sorry, it isn't much, but just working on the dog's head. But that's all I could do today. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.